First time in nine years, there are two men standing on the Olympia stage, and one of them is not Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> that's true, that's true. And it feels real. <laughs> champion has defended his crown, yeah. Gunter Schlierkamp, a big night for Jay Cutler and I his sweat it a little bit, I sweat it for Jay, no doubt about that. He held last night a little water, but he made up for tonight. He definitely looks drier today, and uh, he won. Uh, it might be tight, but he still has the title. And it, so. wasn't, it wasn't an easy battle. Victor came with everything, guns a-blazing, and you cannot say enough for the effort of Victor Martinez. Yeah. Victor yeah. Martinez is clearly clearly the heir to the without throne, a doubt, if you will. Without a doubt, he pushed Jay today a lot. I would say he pushed pretty much Jay today like Jay used to push on <laughs> Well, I will only say this. To know Jay Cutler, to know how hard he's worked over the last year, his appearances, his travel schedule, he has been yeah. a great ambassador for the sport. Totally is. So if you're a fan of bodybuilding, then you cannot complain about seeing Jay Cutler atop the sport. It's a big day for bodybuilding, but of course, fans of Victor Martinez, Gunter, might not be too happy because Victor looked great tonight. Oh, he looked awesome. You know what, but hey, that's what fans for, so fans pick and choose, you know. But uh, this uh, Jay is a great ambassador. He does a great thing for the sport, and uh, you know, he will, he will definitely, you know, do a lot of more traveling in the future, I guess. <laughs> Well, Jay with his second Sandow trophy, he just moved into a new house here in Las Vegas, and yeah. he has an empty pedestal that he left vacant for that Sandow exactly. trophy. So he'll bring it home, he'll stick it on that pedestal, and then he'll go back to work, and he'll try to win a third one. And he gets ready next week already for the, uh, next week, uh, next year. So he, that's how Jay is. Let's go now to Bob Ciccarello standing by with the champ. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, I fulfilled my prediction. I came back and I won my second standout. What can I say? I mean, it's always a dream come true. And uh, to have a sellout crowd here in Las Vegas and being from Las Vegas, I love you guys, the support, all the years. And, uh, you know, I just want to say congratulations to all the athletes and uh, to Ronnie Coleman for his last Olympia. Uh, great, great honor to compete against him. He was a great, uh, a great inspiration for me in the beginning, and uh, he'll always remain a true, true champion. So, congratulations to him, walking away from the Olympia. Jay, was it harder the second time around? Yeah, after last night, yeah, it was. You know, Victor stepped up pretty tough, and uh, I knew uh, my condition wasn't spot on. I had 
couple miscalculations uh, last night, and I think um, you know I was improved a little bit for tonight to be able to pull off the win. And um, I still felt like the champion no matter what because I always do put 100% effort. And uh, yeah, 100, 110. <laughs> well, you got 155,000 reasons to smile tonight. The question is, what's the next move for Jay Cutler? Well. You know, I just want to definitely enjoy this win because last year, you know, I had to go to Europe and compete there right after the contest. And tonight, you know, I'm having my after party at LAX. Uh, you guys are all welcome to attend. And uh, I just, I just, uh, yeah, it's Miller time once again. Jay, I got a question for you. You said in an interview we did earlier, when you won the Olympia last year, there was so many things going on and Ronnie losing. It was overwhelming that you missed the moment. My question to you, Jay, is, are you getting the moment now? I'm here, Bob, right? Hold on, let me walk, let me walk around a little bit. And, uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting here with all you guys. I appreciate that. I appreciate the sponsors, Muscle Tech, everyone that got me to uh, where I need to, to train and become the best. And, uh, of course, the fans, you guys supported me, you believed in me. All the emails I get, and uh, I'm gonna do my best once again to represent the sport of bodybuilding, travel around the world. I traveled worldwide last year. Got a little burned out a little bit, but it was okay. I came back and I was able to recoup and, uh, of course, win my second title. So that's all we can do. I can only try to be uh, the champion that I am and come back and definitely win at least once, once more at the Mr. Olympia. And that's what I plan to do next year. So hopefully we'll see you guys all back here. And hopefully it'll be three time, what can I say? Jay, you are the two-time Mr. Olympia, quite simply, a cut above the rest. Congratulations, Mr. Olympia, Jay Cutler. And I just want to say something, you guys, you know, that I try to say, every, you know, I guess close every weekend around the country, you guys probably see me and, and uh, traveling all around the states and Europe, and I just want to say, you know, growing up as a teenager in Massachusetts, small town in central Massachusetts, I know some of you guys are here, New Englanders. You know, I had a dream. I had a dream to be the best at something. I just wasn't sure what it was. So I picked up a magazine at 12 years old. I read features with Chris Dickerson and Bob Harris and uh, a few of the guys with the, with the great physiques, former Mr. Olympia. And next thing you know, I'm in the gym training at 18, training more of a stress reliever, started competing, fell in love with the sport of bodybuilding, started doing it as a career. And I took steps forward. I won certain contests to get certain places, and then I won my professional card in NPC. Uh, was able to move into the IFBB, um, and we have a great organization. I want to thank Joe and Ben Weeder for their great, great sport of bodybuilding. What they've done for, for the Mr. Olympia, and of course AMI, the Weeder organization has uh, built up the show. Obviously, this year bigger contest than ever. So, thank you guys, and of course my dream was only to be the best I could be, and now I'm standing on top of the world as the best bodybuilder on the planet. What else can I ask for? So never give up. Thank you. You heard it, your two-time champion, Mr. Jay Cutler. Uh, Jay Cutler, you are now a two-time Mr. Olympia champion, and this was a close call. Yeah, it's... Uh... I guess uh, last night, you know, I, was, I missed a little bit and came back tonight, I think, sharper and better than ever. So I was able to pull it off, and uh, I feel happy to be able to do that. That is definitely definitely what uh, Dan and I saw, too. You came out today shop, and uh, you definitely made a statement tonight. Yeah, you know, it's like I said, it's um, the champion, you know, always has, has the advantage coming into a contest, and I was pretty positive that I would win this year. And I really didn't have a doubt. I, I thought even last night, you know, slipping a little bit, I still was able to pull off the win. But it's uh, it's all, you know, it's all behind us now. Well, let's get to Victor in just a moment. But uh, we just spoke to Ronnie Coleman. You and Ronnie, your rivalry, it, it, it's storied, it's historical. We, we've followed it through the years. For the first time in nine years, you, the top two were standing up there. And, of course, Ronnie Coleman was not among them. It was you and Victor Martinez. Talk about that chance to compete against Ronnie Coleman for what will probably be the final time. Yeah, it was, um, it was a little sad for me, you know, that Ronnie stepped down and, you know, he was a big inspiration all those years. We battled, you know, we battled together for almost seven years now, him and I, and, you know, I was basically second, you know, of course, winning last year. And, you know, it's always sad when you see a true champion like that step down. But, you know, there's new guys coming in and uh, someone else is going to rule for 
a little longer time now. So, how does it make you feel to be in Ronnie's position right now? I you mean, you pushed Ronnie for many years. Now you, you're the one who gets pushed. Yeah, it's uh, it's all part of it. You know, I stick to the same game and. I just keep doing the same things and hopefully make a little improvement. I just don't think I'll try to win eight times, you know. <laughs> Jay, let's talk about Victor Martinez. Victor Martinez brought it tonight. There are some folks out there that thought perhaps he was the rightful winner. You know, in the history of the Olympia, we've always had those one-two battles. You've actually been on the other side of that many times. So talk about what Victor Martinez might be feeling right now and also talk about Victor Martinez as your new rival. Uh, you know, Victor looked good. You know, it's... Just a, a different type of physique. I mean, I'm a bigger guy, and, you know, I work with uh, out-muscling people. Victor works on a little more shape, and I definitely outsize him a little bit. But, you know, I think it came down to tonight, tonight now on my condition a little sharper. And, of course, a bigger guy um, with better conditions is always going to win. So as far as the future, I mean, I welcome the, uh, I welcome the challenge, but it's not just going to be Victor. It's going to be other guys, too. Dennis Wolf made a nice impression tonight, and, you know, I moved – from the back of the pack all the way to the front so it's hard to really say who the battles against next year i guess it's jay cutler because i'm just going to try to be better and come in and win more convincingly and that's the most important thing are you already motivated for next year yeah i'm not really thinking about next year yet i just want to <laughs> relax a little bit i know the last thing you want to do is talk about the future but you have told us on a few occasions that your plan was to win three mr olympia titles so is it fair to say that this is going to be the last Olympia preparation for uh, Jay Keller? Yeah, I think next year will probably be it for, uh, for my career. Okay. Well, for now, you are the reigning and still Mr. Olympia, Jay Keller. Congratulations. Congratulations, Thank you guys. Jay. Thanks, thanks.